What's the best advice I have for somebody going through a divorce? It's to get clarity and focus. If 37 different things are important to you, then my argument is nothing's really important to you. So focus on those three or four or five things that are really important to you. Then you're gonna get clarity and peace. And here's how that works. There's gonna be some yeah, yeah bullshit over here about the 17th thing that you've decided is not really that important. You have my permission and when you get clarity, you're gonna have your own permission to ignore that because you're focused here. The first thing that Jack Welch did at GE was focus on the core businesses that supported their mission. The first thing Steve Jobs did at Apple was cut out a, a number of products that weren't changing the world. What does that look like for you in your divorce, in your child custody case, in your DHR defense case or adoption process? What are the two or three things that you can focus all of your efforts on? And that, that's gonna be your like top secret weapon because the other side might be focused over here, the ninth thing, the 10th thing, the 11th thing. And you're like, oh man, okay. And you get to be magnanimous and be flexible and compromise on those things while you're over here focusing on what's really important. So my advice to someone in a divorce case, get clarity, get focused, get criteria or identify that criteria, which, okay, it's important to me to have time with my kids. Well, what does that look like? Like get clarity on that criteria. Do you want all the time? Do you want some of the time? Do you want a little time that's all yours? What does that actually look like? And when you get clear on that, a lot of the yeah, yeah nonsense that comes up in family law cases is gonna drift away as you focus on what's really important to you and your family. The only thing I would add to that, I mean, after we've gotten focus, after we've gotten clarity about what's important to us, and, and a lot of my colleagues and frankly, a lot of judges might disagree with me, but I want to be uncompromising on that which is ultimately most important to, to, to you, to your case. Hey, I'll be flexible on this thing. I'll be flexible on that thing. But when it comes to my kid's education, when it comes to the company I've spent blood, sweat, and tears building, I'm not gonna compromise when it comes to protecting that company. When you've identified what's really important, be prepared to fight for it. Don't settle for anything that's going to affect what is core to you. You see a lot of folks out there and a lot of law firms and it's, oh, let's, let's be amicable. Let's, let's work this out. If working something out means forgetting who you are, giving up what you've built, um, affecting your kid's education or even threatening their health and well-being, that's not time to be amicable. That's time to get geared up, and that's time to be ready for your day in court. And we're glad to support you each step of the way here at Foxtrot Family Law.